What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. So today we are going to walk through the process on how to change your main or your primary display on a Mac OS. Stay tuned. So of course to get started you're going to want to plug in your secondary monitor here with whatever cable it is that you need. I've got my ultra wide plugged in with a Thunderbolt 3 to HDMI cable. Once you've plugged in, you should wait for the computer to detect that a secondary display has been plugged in. And that'll happen. Typically, the screens will go dark for a minute, then they'll both come back up. You can see I've got the main Big Sur wallpaper here with a different wallpaper on my ultra wide. So from here, you're going to want to come up into the top left hand corner and click on the little Apple and then come on down and click on where it says System Preferences. This will load up the system preferences menu and we're gonna come down to the one that says displays here. It looks like a little monitor. Click on that. We're gonna go over to the arrangement tab. There's a chance that when you plugged yours in, it may have already checked off the box that says mirror displays and you may not have those, those uh, menus or those options that I was describing to you. You're gonna to want to uncheck the mirror displays and that'll break the two monitors or break the two desktops apart from each other and allow you to configure them individually. So it's best to orient your monitors exactly how they're uh, set up so you can see that I've got the smaller laptop monitor down here on the bottom and then I've got the ultra wide right on the very top. But we're gonna want to pay attention to this little white bar right here. This is going to be the indicator to tell the computer what monitor or display you want to be your primary display. So. What you can do is you can hover over it and then left click and hold and you'll notice you can move that little white bar around and you'll notice that if you're selected over the laptop monitor, you've got a red little border indicating that that monitor or that display is going to be selected as the primary because we're hovered over it. And if we move that up to the ultra wide or whatever secondary display you have, you can see that that red border follows indicating that if I were to release the mouse button here, the ultra wide will become the new primary display and that's what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and release the mouse button. You can see that everything has refreshed. The built in retina display menu has popped up down here and the configuration window is now on your primary display. So uh, such as your menu bar up here at the top, if wherever you had your dock placed, it's going to move to that on the new display. So mine is over here on the left hand side. And this has now become my primary display and you can always move that back if you need to by just dragging that little white bar back down to the laptop screen. Now, if you leave it like this, whenever you unplug and plug back in, the computer should save that as the configuration. You don't have to do this every time and allows you to use your bigger monitor as your main monitor. So yeah, that is all there is to it. Really easy to do and it's especially useful if you have something like I've got similar to this where I have my monitors on a wall mount where that is my main focus. I want to use that monitor as my primary monitor. You can go around and move some things around and make things a little bit easier. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. You got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. And if you want to support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. A lot of cool merch over there that you guys can check out. Anyways, thanks again for what you guys do. Thanks again for your support, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps> Yeah.